In a distant land, somewhere in time and space, our incomprehensible bliss and pleasure we place, wasting each moment that passes, regretting many decisions we took. We try to swim through the dark waters alone, then to reach out and unhook. Blame him, her, and they for everything that goes astray. For we are all victims, we think, all of us at the brink. Even though the world is messy, chaotic, and broken, life is too short and sweet for things undone and words unspoken. For how long will we imprison ourselves within our thoughts and minds? The numerous maybes, could haves, should haves, and the kinds. Be aware and attentive to every thought you sow. It grows little by little into so much more. When will we realize that the greatest impediments do not lie in the exterior, but most obstacles and obstructions arise from the interior? For within us lies the key, treasure and hope, to make the most of our lives, to persevere and to cope. Every cocoon houses a future butterfly, and every oyster encloses a pearl inside. Every diamond is mere carbon finesse, yet it tells a story of grace under stress. Every metal in the furnace gets refined, and light splits into seven colors when a prison aligns. All of us have unique abilities and skills. Make the most of your strengths and fulfill. Fulfill your purpose and all that you can be. Don't hold out on your passion and curiosity. If you're a grand oak tree, grow tall, mighty, and high. If you're grass, spread over the vast meadows like wildfire. If you're an eagle, so high amidst the clouds. A peacock stands out in the crowd. If you're a violin, let your melody soothe yet ignite. If you're a tambourine, let your sound heal yet excite. This world is an awe-inspiring orchestra. We all add our positions but most unaware of its existence, preoccupied by our own conditions. In this seemingly turmoil world, we all have a purpose, we all have a place, a path of self-discovery and healing, with our weaknesses to embrace. Too much has burnt up into flames scattering the ashes, leaving scars on our hearts, those glimpses and flashes. Edward Hale said, I am only one, but still I am one. I cannot do everything, but still I can do something. And because I cannot do everything, I will not refuse to do something that I can do. We are meant to be magnificent, exude brilliance and radiance. Not live coiled in turmoil, in our twisted and contrived, deliberately segregated worlds, all curled up and furled. Open up your hearts and minds to the beauty intertwined in the storms and whirlwinds the damage leave behind. Gather the scattered pieces the downpour eventually ceases. Know every adversity makes you stronger. You just have to hold on a little bit longer. And let us live to rebuild, reconcile, regenerate, repair, restore, rejuvenate. Rehabilitate, revive, and thrive. For we were created for much greater things and higher purposes than to merely survive.